Hey guys, as many will agree, picking zone is kind of a troll move, especially in high rank games. But sooner or later, I had to pick him because I have never made a video about him. But to my surprise, he's not completely useless. I think against some team composition, this hero might actually work. After I picked Son, it seems that my teammates were ready to flame this stuff out of me. And to make matters worse, the enemy picked Fanny as the last pick. She will get unlimited energy thanks to the doppelgangers. You can see that in this match, many of the players have very high points. These animations means that they have over 1000 points. And this Fanny has over 2000 matches with Fanny. What an interesting match to play Son. XT. Even though I have only played Son a couple of times in total, I know that Gushon is still probably weaker than me in the early game, so I'll try to keep harassing him whenever he gets close. This Fanny decided to gank me even before taking her red buff. I never would have expected this kind of early gank, especially from their core. Just f my life. Four men gank before one minute into the game. I guess I totally deserve it for playing this monkey in such a high rank game. XT. My teammates is already putting the blame on me. I felt quite conflicted. I felt that there was nothing I could have done there, even if I was playing a different side lane hero. But at the same time, I could understand his frustration over my pick. So I guess it is what it is. Look, Alice also lost her lane and it was a 1v1. I don't see them pointing their fingers at her. Smiley face. Things are starting to look worse and worse as the game progresses. Song will not lose against Gushon in a 1v1 situation. If he tries to combo me, I can easily mute his skills with my ultimate. Which is why I will try to play more aggressive and harass him as much as I can. Technically, I'm winning my lane, but their Fanny has been completely dominating my team, so I cannot really overcommit. They just can't seem to get enough of these monkey's nuts. Even though Gushon is higher level than me, I know that I can still come on top if he tries to fight me, so I'm not really scared of him. Ult is ready. Oh, 
Gotta compliment your teammate when they do something good. Smiley face. I decided to keep pushing because I saw that Fanny's buff is about to respawn, so I thought she would prioritize her buff over me. I am pinging their buff to let my team know that maybe they could try to contest it. Their support decided to gank me instead of protecting their Fanny's buff. That was definitely the wrong move. Auto-aim doesn't really work against the monkey, you will almost never auto-aim the original one. It's okay, because I managed to get the turret and kill Gushon as well. It was 100% worth it. Just like how Silvana wanted some sort of affirmation, I decided to do the same. A little compliment goes a long way. Smiley face. Resurrecting soon. That's all I needed to read. Now my confidence is at an all time high. I gotta make sure to keep sidestepping their skills. Instead of trying to fight them, it's more important that I take this opportunity to keep sleep pushing. That will be a lot more beneficial for my team in the long run. They decided to switch their lanes, but even though Paquito got really fed from the bottom lane, I still felt like I had a good chance against him if I played my cards correctly. I could have tried to kill him by using Flicker, but this fan is always on top of my nuts, so I didn't want to risk it. Look at that, Song can actually 1v1 Paquito. XT. My main job is to keep split pushing whenever given the opportunity. This is how you should usually play a side laner fighter. Lore is about to spawn, so if my team can keep distracting them in the top lane, I'll be able to melt down the Lord by myself. But I didn't expect my whole team to come here. Now they'll obviously know we're killing the Lord.
From trash talking the monkey to becoming a fan of the monkey. Kawaii desu ne? Here goes. Ultra Instinct! I gotta say, that was one of the most satisfying side steps I have ever done in Mobile Legends. Never okay. I think I made Fanny a little bit mad, and she has finally awakened her Ultra Instinct as well. But I'm not going down alone. I noticed that no one from my team built any anti-regeneration items, they got Paquito and Fanny, two heroes with insane healing effects. We really needed those items. While the enemies are distracting the top lane, I'll make the ultimate move and split push and even try to end the game by myself. But I guess Moskov decided to show off and ruin my master plan. Bruh. What an anticlimactic ending. Sad face. Well, regardless, I hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks. In this game, I was more focused on pushing than getting kills, which I think was the right call. Because if I was more involved in the team fights, Fanny would gain so much energy back that it would actually backfire. <laughs> <laughs>